know they would have killed me Bad. if I didn't run for my life. I never was there. When I didn't see. So I don't get anybody, but I get God. I get God. Bro. This is one of Mubad's very close friend and his name is Lifestyle. He has come out very boldly to give his own side of the story and not only that, just like Mubad did when he was alive, he's also saying that his life is at risk and there are people targeting him. The same people who he says targeted Mubad. He says he feels like those people are just waiting for this whole case to die down so that they can now come and start killing people that actually spoke up on the issue. Mubad actually mentioned him in some of his interviews when he was alive. Oh my god. Is, are those your friends though? Before we get into yeah. yeah. Who is that? That's guy? lifestyle. No, your name is lifestyle. <laughs> This guy is a dancer and he's also from a humble background just like Mubad and he had to go through an anonymous blog to give his own side of the story that's just lovers blog but this guy is so bold that he didn't even mind hiding his name or his details because according to him there's really no need hiding it if you guys remember there was a time Mubad made several tweets and allegations against Naramali stating how he went to Naramali to talk about the fact that he wants to change his manager and then he was bullied and beaten for that sake According to the story, he went with two of his friends and those two of his friends were actually the ones that stood in for him. Coincidentally, this his friend Lifestyle is one of the friends that he was with. Naramani recently said he never bullied Mubad and in fact nobody touched Mubad but in this old video, he is seen talking about one guy named Tunde being the only one who actually touched Mubad at that time. I don't normally do this live shit because I love you guys too, you get me? Because it comes back, you know what I mean? It comes back to the gang too. I don't I don't really like doing this live shit, you know, times. That's why I didn't do the live shit the first time he's screaming people trying to kill him. But I don't get it. I don't know how to even explain the story that. But niggas from the streets, yeah. How can I speak? Let me speak pigeon. Niggas will come for streets, yeah, where they street, they know. When I see someone high on shit, they know what's wrong with them, do you know what I mean? But I ain't have a time to blame, what? What? blame thing what? and shit. If my body didn't do a video on that, if my body didn't do a video, I wouldn't even bother explaining. Just the same way Mubad made several tweets narrating the whole incident, this his friend also made a post saying that if anything is to happen to him, the whole of Malia Music and Naira Mali should be held responsible. And this is not even a new post. This is a very old post. And according to him, he was threatened to bring the post down. But this guy is so bold that he refused to do it. Now to the main story that a lot of people are eager to hear, especially regarding the circumstances leading to to Mobat's death. I'm going to summarize his own account of the story, but you can also pause to be reading his own written account. According to him, after Mobat's last concert, he was actually tipsy and tired, and he went home in the other Prado. He wasn't in the same car as Mobad and the others. When they got home, he lay down on the bed and slept off, only to wake up in the middle of the night. And then he decided to go downstairs, and he saw Mobad bleeding from his hand and then there was someone he he named as Bami who was cleaning up the wounds when he asked them what happened they told him that Mubad had gotten into a fight with his childhood friend prime boy and according to him Mubad and that his childhood friend usually have such quarrels you know and they'll just throw punches and if he tries to settle it Mubad will just tell him ah now we are friends though and then you know it was just like a normal friendship fights but this time around he was actually bleeding and he said according to him the wound was not looking good and he told him ah, you have to go to the hospital for this so and he then he decided to carry his bag and then start going and Mobad now, you know, joked around telling him, ah, this is the way they carry his school bag, what did happen? They go to school, he said, no, he's just going home. So they laughed his off and he went back home. Only to get a call from his manager asking him whether 
mobile is with whether mobile is with him and he said no he didn't even think anything much about it and the manager was like she has been trying his number and it's not going through and according to him he also posted on his snap and mobad has not viewed it because mobad usually used to be one of the first people to view his snaps he didn't even think anything much of it only to hear that he was dead the next day and he was shocked like how do people die like that he's saying he's so scared right now because ever since that issue that happened in the malian house where they were fighting mobad and he was trying to save mobad and you know the whole incident he has always been a target same with mobad and him and mobad have written several reports to the police according to him he's even scared right now saying that the police cannot find his report and he's regretting why he didn't take a picture just for evidence purposes as his own proof and copy he's even saying he has been seeing a lot of people commenting saying he must know something about this issue why is he keeping quiet and he's like her that he's the breadwinner of his family and he really does not want his mother to cry but anyway we only live once and he really feels like mobad will really want him to tell his own side of the story because this is the least he can do for him considering all mobad did in his life when he was actually alive do you guys remember this video where mobad was talking about how he was trying to help zeno and he actually snitched on him there's also another video where mobad was discussing with his friend <laughs> me, I say the eight is too much. I mean, if you go, boy, see this TV, I like, say, boy, I'm all shame. I want after that, say, my message is a for snap. Like this. I found my brother, she shall say everything. Not me now. As I said, I'm not because I don't put eight for her. After, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't think that I'm going to say that I found this stuff. Could you plan? Could you go to your following? It's not coming out there, but now I'm going to say that 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 I'm I don't put anything for the night. I don't get time. Ah. Take time to go back and me call it. Go back to me. Go back to you. And you are. I'm a shake. I'm a kid. I'm very funny. I'm saying, see. But I'm going to say, 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 I'm going to as you guys can see this is a voice recording of mobad and this is friend talking about zeno this has made a lot of people to be wondering why zeno has not spoken up after all these things that have happened and a lot of people are pitying him why there are those who feel like ah he's a snitch he deserves whatever might be happening to him but what do you guys think about this whole zeno issue and what do you think can be done here are some of the video evidences of Mubad being bullied. Simone, what do you do when you're in motion like this? I said to the boy, I said Mubad. Swala. I never did you. I never did you. I said to the boy, I said to the boy, I said to the boy, I never is fucking there. Oh Allah. Nice one. Come on, Lono. How they go? so guys what do you think about everything mobat's friend has revealed do you think naramali has anything to do with mobat's death or do you think he doesn't and if you think he does just tell us the reasons in the comment section if you think he doesn't 
still leave your comment below to let us know why you think he didn't do it right now lots of things are not still clear to the public but one thing we know for sure there are lots of things that we don't know about this and this whole thing looked like it was a planned murder because one thing we should ask ourselves is if it was just a random fight why was he bleeding and although a lot of people are saying the wife knows a lot about this and she should talk and yes i agree the wife definitely knows a lot about this and she should give her own account of the story but then we heard that she has already been interrogated severally by the police it's just that we the public don't know what she has said although this lover's blog actually made mention of the fact that she actually reached out to him after mubad died to tell him her own account of the story and according to this lover she said that that mobile's friend hit him with a juju ring and the strange thing about all these things is that the prime boy in question totally denied ever fighting with mobad but right now there are, it seems there are several people who are stating the fact that he did so this whole issue i don't even know what to say about it but i just hope mobad gets this justice because this thing is is deeper than we actually think i just hope that this mobad's friend that was bold enough to say all these things will not be in any danger because ah, if all these things he's saying is true then um, all that guy's safety needs to be prioritized anyway don't forget to like and subscribe stay safe guys because as you can see lots of things are happening in this country and if anything happens to get justice is really really hard this is so disheartening bye let me quickly add that this guy and Belashmoda seem to be the realest and most courageous friends Mubad had when he was alive because these two people in question actually stood up for him when he was going through a lot. Belashmoda talked about it in interviews. This guy also talked about it like they really stood by him. And this guy in question is also the person that actually does some of the dances he is the one that actually comes up with some of the choreography that you see mubad dancing like this one they are dancing now he is the one that actually made the choreography and i've seen a lot of people talking about bella's mother wondering why bella is no longer talking bella actually talked when this whole thing started and i'm not surprised that he's quiet now because if all these things this guy has said is true then bella's life is also in danger let's not forget that there are rumors of bella's house being raided in london and people are saying maybe they wanted to kill him or something like that let's just pray for all the people that are close to mobad right now because from the look of things we don't know what's going on but whatever is going on we really pray for their safety